Hey team, welcome back to Dan and Lisa's Feel Good series. So today we're gonna be talking about preparation and the importance of actually setting yourself up for success. I think that's very important, especially on the clinical point of view. It is, and I think when we're looking at wellness and the goals that we set, the biggest thing that we find is sometimes they're a little bit overwhelming and they're too big or they're not really thought through. And, in, and when you're doing that, you're really setting yourself up for a little bit of disappointment. So in that, we need to plan and prioritise what these goals are, make them simple, attainable and measurable, um, and plan how you're going to get there. So from A to B, put your time into where you're eating, what you're eating, where you're training, and tick off these goals when you achieve them because there's nothing better than ticking them off and saying, hell yeah, I did it. So I'm big on planning and I'm usually, I, my life's pretty much very reactive, so I don't usually know what I'm doing the next day. Not always a good thing. Not always a good thing. <laughs> but what I try and do is the night before, I always get everything set up. So if I cook uh, dinner, I make sure I cook extra, then I've got that food supply that I can take with me for breakfast. If I know I'm gonna be up crack of dawn, training, and then I'm not gonna have time to eat breakfast to get to the office, I'm gonna make sure that I've got my breakfast plan because I'm not gonna rely on getting there and trying to get something from a cafe. I wanna know that I'm 100% knowing what I'm gonna eat, where I'm gonna eat it. If I'm training, prepared to do that and where it's gonna be at. So for me to get my results, I need to know exactly that if something doesn't go right or disrupt, that I'm gonna be ready for that. So it's very important for me to have those little plans because if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So guys, stay tuned. We've got some really cool episodes coming up with Dan and Elise. Feel good.